As the warmth of June envelops us, so too does a profound opportunity to reflect, connect, and heal during Men's Mental Health Month. This month, dedicated to the mental well-being of men, stands as a beacon of hope and a reminder that it's okay to seek help, to be vulnerable, and to prioritize self-care. For too long, societal norms have placed immense pressure on men to uphold a facade of unwavering strength and stoicism. Phrases like, man up and boys don't cry have echoed through generations, reinforcing the idea that expressing emotions is a sign of weakness. But the truth is, acknowledging one's feelings and seeking support is one of the bravest things a man can do. Mental health issues do not discriminate. They affect men of all ages, backgrounds, and walks of life. Depression, anxiety, stress, and other mental health challenges are not signs of failure, but rather part of the human experience. Yet. The stigma surrounding men's mental health often leads to silence, isolation, and, tragically, untreated conditions. This June, let's break the silence. Let's encourage open conversations about mental health, creating safe spaces where men can share their experiences without fear of judgment. Whether it's a heart-to-heart -heart with a trusted friend, a support group, or a visit to a mental health professional. Talking about what you're going through is a crucial step toward healing. Vulnerability is often misunderstood as a sign of weakness, but it is, in fact, a profound strength. When men allow themselves to be vulnerable, they open the door to genuine connection and support. It's in these moments of openness that true healing begins. Recognize that it's okay to not have all the answers, and it's perfectly normal to need help. Embracing vulnerability means acknowledging your emotions, understanding your triggers, and seeking the support you need. It means recognizing that mental health is just as important as physical health and that taking care of your mind is a vital part of taking care of yourself. Steps towards self-care. Self-care is not selfish. It is essential. Prioritizing your mental health can take many forms, and it's important to find what works best for you. Here are a few steps that can guide you on sister me. Seek professional help. Therapists and counselors are trained to help you navigate your mental health. Seeking professional support can provide you with tools and strategies to manage your mental well-being. Connect with others, reach out to friends, family, or support groups. Sharing your thoughts and feelings with others can alleviate feelings of isolation and build a support network. Practice mindfulness. Techniques such as meditation, deep breathing, and mindfulness can help reduce stress and improve your mental clarity. Stay active. Physical activity has been shown to boost mood and reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety. Find an activity you enjoy, whether it's a sport, a walk in nature, or a workout routine. Set boundaries. Learn to say no and set boundaries to protect your mental space. It's important to prioritize your own well-being. Engage in hobbies. Doing something you love can provide a much-needed break from stress and improve your overall happiness. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. Many men face similar struggles, and there is a community ready to support you. Reach out, connect, and share your experiences. By doing so, you contribute to a culture of understanding and empathy, making it easier for others to seek help as well. As we observe Men's Mental Health Month this June, let's connect. 
After breaking down the barriers that prevent men from seeking the help they need, let's embrace vulnerability, prioritize self-care, and support one another in this journey towards mental wellness. You have the strengths within you, and together, we can create a world where every man feels empowered to take care of his mental health.